Hello and good afternoon. It's Sarah Stovetop coming to you live from my kitchen. It's episode 67, I believe, of Tool Time Tuesday. Couldn't get to it last night because I went to um, do a birthday party with my mother-in-law. We did art and um, we were painting on walls and it was just so fun. So I'm sorry I missed it, but I'm here today. And I came today to um, talk to you about gifts under 20, $25 and under. So I thought I'd show you an array of ideas for you know kitchen tools that you can give as gifts. Now, if you're watching on the replay, type in replay. If you're watching live, send me some hearts, some emojis, whatever, and let me know what um, where you're tuning in from. And um, so I'm Sarah, Sarah Stovetop, and I'm coming to you live from my kitchen. I do uh, Pampered Chef as a business, and it's really a love, I should say. Um, I have been doing it for 10 years, and oh my goodness, um, I just, it's just added so much to my life and my family's life, I just can't even tell you. It's just so much fun. So, let's start with talking about the holidays are coming up, and they're going to be here before you know it. There's a lot of um, shopping going on. There was Black Friday and Cyber Monday, and we had seven days of deals, and oh my goodness, it's been crazy. But I know a lot of people are looking for stocking stuffers, and they're looking for, you know, not real expensive gifts to give this season. So I thought I'd show you a bunch of them. So let me get started. So the first one... Um, and I have a little cheat sheet here that I have to kind of check out to make sure I give you the right. So I won't have prices for everything, but some things I do. This is the brown sugar keeper. Oh, you know what I'm realizing? I am, uh, I wanted you to be able to read things if you want. So I need to turn my, there we go, <laughs> turn it around. Okay, there we go. So this is the brown sugar keeper. Isn't that adorable? So it's terracotta. And on the other side, you can still see it. Um, it's terracotta. You get two in a package, and basically, you soak, you clean it, you um, wash it first. Well, rinse it in water. You don't want to put any soap on this because it will. It's terracotta. It will absorb the odor of the soap. But you want to soak it in water for about 30 minutes, and then put it in your brown sugar and keep it airtight, and it will keep it nice and soft instead of getting those really hard pieces in it. Brown sugar keeper two in a box. Here's your little box. Okay, the next thing is really fun. This is the microwave, the ceramic egg cooker. There's a microwave one too, but this is the ceramic egg cooker. And um, I love this because it has, first of all, it's, it can hold up to four eggs. So you put your eggs in, um, of course you crack them and put them in, not in the shell. Um, put your finger over the little button on the top, or the hole on the top, shake it up, put it in the microwave for a minute, minute and a half, depends on your microwave, you're going to have to check it. You can stir it if you want, or you can just, um, you know, let it go. If it's still watery or liquidy, you'll want to uh, do it for a little bit longer, but it really depends on your microwave, and you'll learn very quickly um, how to do it. But it also does oatmeal, it does a poached egg, it does, um, you can make a little muffin or a little cake inside here. And if you ask me, if you, if you get one of these, I'll be happy to send you a couple recipes for that. So this is a really great tool, and this is only like $16. The, um, the little sugar keep, brown sugar keepers are $10. So kind of a nice gift, it would be a great gift for a teacher or a stocking stuffer. Okay, oh, and you can get a little cozy set to go with it, um, to hold it so it's not too hot in the microwave. And there's a set that goes with this and something else I'm gonna show you, which is the microwave pasta maker. So here's the cozy. So there's a set of two. The cozies I think are $17. Ugh. Really have to figure that out. Hmm. I can't read from that far away. Um, <laughs> Oh well, anyways, there's a cozy set that's uh, perfect for both the microwave uh, pasta maker and for the egg micro, uh, the ceramic egg cooker. But check this out. So you've got a big bowl for pasta, okay? And you put, the, you put your water in, your pasta in, then you cover it with this silicone top, which also doubles as a colander and a boil over uh, 
containment system so that the pasta doesn't end up all the pasta water doesn't end up all over your um, lovely microwave so it goes in here into the cozy and makes it easier to get it in and out of the microwave all right so those are two things whoops um, three things four things actually okay next up is the um, oh this is great this is our garlic press and it's a really good system and mine's been used a lot as you can tell it's dishwasher safe comes with a little cleaner and the cleaner br looks like a little Barbie brush doesn't it looks like a little Barbie brush <laughs> it's like you brush Barbie's hair but you actually use it to put it in the holes here like this and it pushes out the garlic that's if it's stuck inside here and then you can use this part to pull the garlic out very easy so that is our garlic press and the garlic press is only $19 so wouldn't that be a great stocking stuffer as well okay a couple other really some little things okay we've got the mini serving spatula this is like everybody's favorite tool whenever I meet people and they say oh I love pamper chef and I ask what their favorite tool is nine times out of ten it's the little mini serving spatula which this one is the um, metal one and that metal one is seven dollars and then there's also one i think it's four four fifty this is nylon great for wait for it the brownie pan this baby is unbelievable if you don't have a brownie pan you are missing out because not only is it great for people who like the edges of the brownie so every brownie has the edges but you can make little mini omelets in here you could do um little uh, uh like ravioli lasagna kind of things little meatloafs oh my gosh and it's like portion control so you can make a pan of them and if you don't finish them all you freeze them and you take them out when it's just one or two of you for dinner and you have like two or three of these unbelievable great idea for a, a really quick gift for someone and i think that one's only oh it's 22.50 and then you'd want to get one of these to go with it because this is a non-stick pan so you definitely don't want to use metal on it so that would be a great that would be a really great gift okay so if you don't have our can opener yet this or somebody you know doesn't have a can opener yet this is a great tool it's a smooth edge can opener and it basically oh thanks for the hearts and the oh thanks for joining me marissa sorry i missed that <laughs> don't you love this this is okay so this is the um smooth edge can opener and basically what it does is it goes around the edge of the can and it loosens up the where the um where the glue is where it glues on the top the metal top it never cuts into the metal so you can never cut yourself on the top of the can i think it's fantastic so just thought you would want to know that and that is only let's see wait for it 22.50 so we're under 25 dollars in our gifts here um, if you combined a couple they'd be a little over 25 dollars of course um, and then the next one is one of our all-time favorites, best sellers, this is the Mix and Chop. Look at the way it looks. It looks like a little star on the end, okay? Or, yeah, it's kind of like, a, I call it a star. And basically what you do is you use this to chop up the ground meat that you might be cooking for a sauce or for tacos. I also use it when I'm um, mushing up bananas, when I'm making a big batch of banana bread. I use it also for avocados. This is an invaluable tool in the kitchen. And it doubles as a fun shape that you could put in the center of a pie crust to make that vent to let the, the uh, steam out. How about that? That's kind of cute, isn't it? Okay, so that's the mix and chop. And the mix and chop is only $14. Now there's one item here that I'm gonna do a special, um, I, that I don't have yet. I'm gonna do a special um, Sarah stove top uh, a Sarah stovetop special on that one. So tune in. I'll just dangle that there. Um, okay, so let's move on to the. Uh, I talked about the microwave cozies for the um, the bowl and uh, for there's a large and a small size. Okay, 
the microwave pasta cooker I talked about. How about the batter bowls? Okay, so you've got the classic batter bowl, which is two quarts and fantastic size, has this wonderful ha handle and a lid, okay? And then, of course, it's easy to pour. Um, but, and this one is, I always mix up the t how much they are, 1950. Okay, but there's also a smaller size. And this is the quart size. It's called the small batter bowl. And um, what I love about that, not only does this have a lid, but you can put them together because the handles are open. So you can stack them in your uh, cabinet and they don't take up as much room, which is what exactly what I do. I took these right out of my cabinet. And these are great. Imagine getting, um, you could do a teacher gift with this and you could layer the ingredients for a cookie mix or a brownie mix or hot chocolate. I mean, you could really do some fun things or, or different colored candies. Be really fun to do that. Um, and this is the, you can use it at either size. And I do have some recipes for that. If you choose to do that, I'll be happy to share those with you um, for layering. And that's kind of fun. And the smaller one is $15. So still under $25, easy peasy. Um, oh, the next one is one of my favorite, my new favorites. It's the snack bar maker. Okay, and it comes in a set. And here's how it looks when it's put together. Okay, but you take it apart, boop, and it's silicone, and you can bake in it. And I have been making little snack bars, chocolate bars. You can make like a granola bar, no baked granola bar, or baked gr granola bar. Um, uh, cereal bars. We have a whole ebook that goes with this uh, when you purchase one that I can send to you because there are so many possibilities. And this is great. I actually did a, um, a food demo last weekend, I think it was, at a fundraiser, and people loved this. This was really fun. Um, what's cool about it, see these holes where my finger is? Those coincide with the holes with the, there's a, a, another counterpart that goes and it pushes together so that it holds it steady when you put it in the, um, the freezer. Now this can go in the microwave, excuse me, in the oven, but this cannot go in the oven, the lid. So that's just something you just need to know. And of course you'll read the directions, but it also comes with its own cute little mini serving spatula in a teal color to match. So that's a really, it's a really fun set. And if you have young families, oh, Hobbs, of course, has come back to, come here, Hobbs. Do you want to say hi? Say hello. Yes. Hello. <laughs> He's so cute. Come here. Come here, buddy. No? All right. <laughs> Sit. That's a good boy. Sit. Oh, well, he's being a little bit like, ah, he probably wants to go out. Anyways, so here's the um, microwave, uh, excuse me, the little mini serving spatula in teal. It goes with our um, snack bar maker. Okay, just a couple more things. I love, love, love this whipped cream maker. It's $25, but it is so worth it. If you make pies, if you like whipped cream on everything, <laughs> it is fantastic. Basically, it's you know really easy to use. You pour the heavy whipping cream cold, very cold, up to this level. You, you might add like powdered sugar or some kind of flavoring. You could do rum, you could do um, vanilla. It depends on what you like. Uh, pe peppermint is great. And then you just push the handle up and down. It's kind of like a, a butter churn. And in fact, you could make butter if your whipped cream, wa whipping cream was at room temperature. Um, but it's fantastic. I love this. And um, it's you know, great for like a hot chocolate bar at the um, holiday time for, or winter time for sure. If you don't use all of your um, whipped cream, then you just take this off the bottom because it helps you, uh, prevent you from uh, skidding across the counter and then just put the lid on the top and you're all set. Okay, and you could also use it for um, whipping egg whites or um, egg, just eggs, plain eggs. So it's got a couple other good uses and it's dishwasher safe. So you can take it apart and put it in the dishwasher, which is perfect I mean, you really want that. Okay, the last couple things, there's a set of um, these wonderful 
nylon serving tools or cooking tools and you know there's a slotted spoon there's a regular spoon and then there's two different uh sizes and color they're all different colors of um spatulas uh turners i guess you call them and i think these would be great you could even break these up break the setup and you could use it as like a topper for when you're wrapping a present so if you're giving someone the um the batter bowl maybe you want to put a um, a lovely spoon on top. Just an idea. So that's kind of a fun, and I think they're so, so colorful, it's really fun. Then the last thing is we do have the, um, what is this called? Ah, <laughs> the um, pancake batter bottle. And this is a fun one because, see the little ball inside? And the little ball is for, um, to help you shake it up. But what's cool is it's got the, ingredients list and uh, recipe essentially right on the side let's see if I can do it oh there we go okay so like basically you've got put your milk in you put in your flour to and to each level a little bit of salt a little bit of baking powder a little bit of sugar an egg and you got six pancakes and then it's also got the recipe for 12 pancakes and then you just shake it up and the cool thing is the scoops right in the lid, it is the lid. You wanna make sure that it's popped on there tight and you wanna make sure that you um, hold on to it when you're shaking it up and then you wanna release the pressure a little bit before you start pouring out the pancakes because guess what? It, it, it's got baking powder in it and it's going to go, it's gonna get bigger and explode if you don't let the pressure out. So that's only like $20, so great tool. So I hope I've given you some good ideas for uh, some wonderful gifts for the holiday season. And you know, let me know if I can help you in any way. Um, I'm really excited to, to uh, share all these with you. And also, um, if you are, have not already joined Sarah Stovetop's VIP club, feel free to go over there and request to join and I will send you a little free uh, recipe is my five favorite holiday appetizer recipes. So if you haven't gotten, if you haven't joined yet, go on over to Sarah Stovetop's VIP Club and join, and that, and then I will send you that. So thanks so much for um, for joining me this evening or this afternoon, I should say. And yeah, I got it in in a little less than 20 minutes, which I'm really happy about. I always try to do that. I, want, I know your time is precious. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, I'll be back next week on Tuesday, on actual Tuesday at 9.15 to do Sarah Stovetop's um, uh, Tool Time Tuesday. And that will be episode 68. Wow, I can't believe we've been doing this for over a year now. So thank you. For, thanks for joining and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.